there, wig lover. This is Heather from sisterwigs.com coming at you with another beautiful Raquel Welch wig called Glitterati. And the color on Glitterati is R23S Plus, also known as Glazed Vanilla. I get asked all the time, I mean all the time, about these platinum colors, uh, things that are like really, really light blondes because edgy girls like really light blondes you know they're they're a little bit more fashionable a little bit more you know um extreme which is kind of cool plus they're really hard colors to achieve with human hair and so people who really like these colors tend to seek them out intentionally because it's just really hard to find you can't really get this color easily with your own bio hair unless your hair is like extremely light to begin with. I mean, dyeing your hair, lightening it to this degree could completely fry your hair, especially if it's already thin and brittle to begin with. They also make beautiful alternatives to grays. As you could probably tell, this color has a lot of ash tones in it. You'll really be able to tell when I step into the direct sunlight. It has a lot of ash tones in it, but it doesn't pull gray. It just looks kind of fashion-y. It's really, really quite lovely. So, Let's talk about the color real quick since I went ahead and, and started talking about it already. Let me dip into the sunshine and I'll explain a little bit more. You can really see the contrast between the two shades here. I'm just gonna pretend like I, I can see what I'm doing and just not even bother opening my eyes. The bottom here is the ashier of the two colors and it's also a little bit darker than the top color. This is kind of like um, an ultra light uh, ash based platinum. Um, to me, though, it pulls more violet than it does blue. So um, maybe instead of saying it's true ash, it's it's like a like a one of those newer ash tones that has a little bit more of the violet in it than a, than a blue. And then up here, you've got almost a com completely pure pearl white with just a teeny, 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 tiny bit of a 613 blended throughout. Um, that's the difference between, say, a 22 and a 23. A 23's got a little teeny bit of that 613 in it to help it from looking uh, too mature. So this is a fashion blonde. It is not an alternative, like a true intentional alternative to a gray. It just happens to make a really nice alternative to a gray because it has all these beautiful uh, sort of neutral to cool tones in it with just a teeny, 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 teeny hint, barely perceptible hint of gold in the top portion to keep it from looking mature. So now that I've highlighted this color, I want to talk about Glitterati itself. This is a beautiful wig. I love the length on Glitterati. I love the length on this one. I tend to prefer mid lengths to the like super long ones, even though, you know, I might classify this one as a long one on my side. I haven't quite yet, uh, decided just because it's kind of like on the edge between the two. Um, the front frames the face just like a bob would. Look at that with the layering. I mean, it, it frames the face very beautifully, but then the back gives you the length. So that way you don't have to feel like you're wearing a traditional um, sort of professional bob cut. It gives you all the benefits, but it gives you the length on top of it. So as far as, you know, mid length to long wigs go, I think that's pretty much the best case scenario. I think you get a very natural amount of volume with this. I mean, if I were to put this into a ponytail, it's not particularly thick, if, if you know what I mean. But that's all right. A lot of people don't want super poofy hair. So, you know, not only does it have all this beautiful layering in the front, but this here is also just a really flattering length. The whole thing is just really pretty and effortless and... I don't know. It's just a very cool length. It's like casual, but feminine. I, I, I really do think that this one's really pretty and I think it's going to work really well for a lot of different people. Now Glitterati has a hand tied lace front. So let me go ahead and zoom in on that for you. So there you can see my bio hair is poking through, but that's because it's quite dark, but I love how with these light colors, it looks like the knotting is basically just melting into your skin. You don't even see the knots. That is best case scenario. And then there is that monofilament side part. You can see the contrast between the different shades with that darker of the two shades being this one here. This is a beautiful color, beautiful wig. 
So the front is 7.75 inches on Gluterati. It's definitely meant to be swept off to the side. It has a dedicated left-hand side part, a monofilament side part. So it really does want to sweep that direction. You can uh, adjust where the front parts, but I wouldn't really recommend doing the same with the, the, the actual part up here because that's the only place where the monofilament is on the cap. The crown down is 10 inches. Like I said, like this part all the way around is basically like a traditional bob. It's just the bottom most layers are longer. The sides are 10.5 inches. Again, very much like a bob. The back is nine inches and the nape is 12.75 inches. So that gives you an idea about the overall length of this particular wig. And just for kicks, since I have it handy, I'm going to use this to tell you exactly how long it is from the top of the crown to the back of the wig. It's not a perfect measurement, FYI, but we'll give you an idea. About 18 and a half inches overall from the top of the crown down to the bottom. So on me, it's like a little bit below the clavicle, definitely not a boob hugger. I'm gonna go ahead and take Glitterati off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. Here is what the top of that monofilament looks like. It's kind of hard to tell. It's very densely threaded though, and that's part of the reason why it's hard to tell. Here is what she looks like from the side. She's got this very gentle kind of uh, wave pattern. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Giselle from John Renault a little bit with the way it waves like it does. Very, very beautiful, beautiful feminine ends. Beautiful wig. All right, turning it inside out. Here's that lace front, dedicated monofilament side part. It's surrounded by a very nice fuzzy felt. And then you've got permatease up here on the other side of the uh, wig cap. And that's to help obscure the wefting on the top of the wig so no one sees through the to the tracks. And then the sides are a little stretchy, but not very much. Very true to size on this one. Very nice felt ear tabs. It does have that lovely memory cap technology that is patented by uh, Raquel Welch and Harry Wear. And it's really, really nice for really conforming to the shape and size of your head if you wear it for a little while. And then here is that extended felt nape that can be adjusted with these Velcro tabby things. That is a technical term. Yeah, beautiful wig. I'm gonna go ahead and put Glitterati back on now. And there you have it. This has been the very beautiful Glitterati wig by Raquel Welch in the color R23S Plus, also known as Glazed Vanilla. I love this one as sort of an edgy platinum. Well, I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. And feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or concerns about this or any wig I review or any wig that I carry on my site. And if you want to know what those wigs are, you got to go to the website, silly. That's just tripledubs.cysterwigs.com. I'm being redundant because I want you to go there. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. I'm going to review over 150 wigs during the course of this particular wig season. And I'm just reviewing them all right up front while the sunlight is great. And then I'm going to edit them and post them basically one at a time as I get through them during the course of the upcoming fall of 2015 and spring, uh, winter and spring 2016. So you're gonna see a ton of them. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one. I'm gonna review a wide variety of styles, colors, and brands. So it's gonna be the best season yet, I suspect. So until next time, I'm Heather. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.